This week's Superhero Saturday is brought to you by Mental Health. So I've seen a lot of things on the internet lately about managing mental and emotional health. It's a challenging thing to do. Sometimes I just get into this bad mood and I can't get myself out of it. I just wish there was some kind of quick fix where I could just snap my fingers and suddenly be back into a good mood. As much as I'd rather sit in bed and watch Netflix all day, I don't have time for that. I got stuff I gotta get done. So this week I thought I'd share my formula for creating a 30 minute music therapy session to help you get out of that funk. I am not a doctor, a psychiatrist, or a licensed music therapist. This session is not designed to replace medication or to address any serious issues that might be underlying why you're sad or apathetic. Please, seek real medical attention for any serious issues. This music therapy session is very simple to set up. All you have to do is create a music playlist with some of your favorite songs, find a safe space, and play the music at top volume. However, through years of experimentation and research, I have discovered that it's not as easy as pumping happy music and hoping that it changes your mood. Instead, the goal is to create a logical musical progression from point A, your current emotional state, to point B, your desired emotional state. If you approximate each phase in this five-step system, you can gradually move through different stages and arrive naturally at a more positive heart space. Let's start with step one, embrace the darkness. Find songs that meet you where you're at and throw yourself into them completely. Your emotional state is valid and must be addressed before you can move to another place. Once you've given your bad feelings the chance to vent, you can start letting go of that phase and move on. Otherwise, you're just bottling up your feelings or denying them outright. And that's just bad for your health. Again, please do not take this as medical advice. Step two is called, It's Gonna Be Okay. For this phase, you want to pick songs that acknowledge the darkness in the world, but also recognize the light. If you're religious, I recommend worship songs that point you back to the sovereignty of God. If not, then something secular and calming would make a good selection. Yeah, yeah, keep holding on, cause you know make it through, make it through just. Step two is a key turning point, because this is the phase in which you let go of that negative emotion and begin to move forward. This brings us to the midpoint, step three, which I call simply angst. This phase is where you start really picking yourself back up and remembering that you have to keep fighting the good fight. Acknowledging your power to make a difference is a key step because it reminds your unruly emotions that if you want things to change, you have to make a decision to rise up and take charge of yourself. That sense of reclaiming your power is what brings us to step four, which is called Feel the Power. For this step, it's time to pull out all the stops. Choose songs that have lyrics in the theme of pure, positive revolution. Once I've reclaimed my power and am ready to take on the world, I like to take things just one step further with step five, pump it up. It can be hard work pulling yourself out of a funk. And now that you've reached a turnaround, I like to cement things in the new emotional state by celebrating. Just take this time to enjoy the music. There is no shame in phase five, seriously. If it has a good beat and it makes you happy, follow the classic white girl adage and dance like nobody's watching. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. 
Usually that's all it takes for me to get from a bad mood into a good mood and then I'm ready to take on whatever problems that I'm facing. This formula doesn't always work and depending on your playlist it may or may not end up being 30 minutes long. Depending on how you're feeling you might need the playlist to be a little bit longer or maybe you can shrink it down to just five songs. The only problem I have is that I have such a huge selection of music that I often forget which songs work really well for the different phases. So let's help each other out. Put your playlist or song selections in the comments below and let's share a little love with the music. This formula works really well for me and I hope it does for you too.